friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy April, can you believe it's April already? I can't believe how fast 2021 is flying by. So because it's April, I am here with my March favorites. Once again, I had so many things, it was hard for me to choose just a few for today's video, but I'm going to be sharing with you quite a few WW food favorites, beauty, home health, a little bit of everything. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I will be putting everything I share with you down in the description box. You will also find my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation absolutely important to have so you know where you should fall every day to lose weight, maintain your weight, whether you're on WW or not. So highly recommend that service. And if you're looking for a little bit more individualized support, I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions in 30 and 60 minutes. So head on over to my nutrition coaching website and check those out. Again, everything I share with you today will be linked down below along with the links and discounts to my other favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group. We'd love to have you come over and join us there. So head on over, join us over on Facebook. Facebook. So we have a ton, and I mean a ton, of favorites to go over, so let's get started. We're going to start with my WW food favorites, starting with what you find in the refrigerator so that I can get these items back in their cold space. In my last grocery haul, I picked up this sugar-free coconut cream coffee creamer. This is my favorite non-sugar-free coffee creamer. And as you guys know, I'm not big on sugar-free, fat-free, but because I love the regular so much, I wanted to buy this just to try it and compare it. This, in my opinion, is equally as delicious as the regular coconut cream creamer. And you can have one tablespoon for one point versus one tablespoon for two points of the non-sugar-free version. Really good. I honestly couldn't tell a difference, so I definitely would repurchase this. I also picked up this almond cashew and macadamia nut milk from Trader Joe's. This is so delicious. As you guys know, I don't consume carrageenan and that's in a lot of almond milks or nut-based milks. And so when I went through the wide array at Trader Joe's, I found that this one didn't have carrageenan in it and I gave it a try and I love it. I would say that I love this equally as much as the Thrive unsweetened almond milk and they're about the same price. This is really delicious. I hope it is not seasonal at Trader Joe's. It's your traditional one cup for 30 calories or one smart point. I've been loving these La Tortilla factory tortillas. In the past, I've picked up the wheat one or the whole wheat one, but I found these white ones at my local Winco Foods and I thought, why not give them a try because they have nice, clean ingredients. Don't get me wrong, I love the Olay wrap, but their ingredients aren't as clean as the La Tortilla Factory. These are incredible. They are so good. They remind me of a real high point, high calorie flour tortilla. Like the Olay wrap, these are one smart point a piece. If you are a flour tortilla lover, this is a great dupe, again, for the high calorie, high point ones. My love for kombucha grows stronger every single day, but I wanted to try this Hum Zero. My favorite kombucha of all time is the GTs. That will always be my favorite kombucha. I hear, I have a lot of people say, I don't wanna use my points for kombucha. So this is a great option. This again is the Hum Zero. It is 10 calories for the entire can and it is zero points. It's really good. Now it's not as sweet or kombucha-y, if that's a word, as the GTs, but it's a really good dupe if you want to save points in calories, you can have the Hum Zero for zero. They do come in a couple of different flavors. This one is my favorite. This is the peach tea. It is so good. As you know, for a very long time, well over a year, I have raved about the healthy eating all the time in Go Bars. So many of you have purchased them and love them as much as I do. The only bad thing about these bars is that they're pretty high in points. They're anywhere from six to seven smart points per bar. Now they are only about 200 to 210 calories. They have nice, clean ingredients, lots of healthy fats and protein, but I was so excited when I heard that she came out with the mini bars, mini 100 calorie bars. This is the size of the bar. So I would say that it's really comparable to half of a full size bar, which makes perfect sense because again, these are 100 calories and three smart points, the same amazing clean ingredients, protein, healthy fats, 
These are really good. I would highly recommend picking these up if you love these bars. You just have a hard time spending six or seven smart points. These, of course, will be linked down below, and I do have a 12% discount. Not an affiliate link. I don't receive any commission or kickback from you purchasing these. It just helps support her, and you get your hands on an incredibly clean and delicious and now mini version of the healthy eating bars. I have a other bars that I want to share with you. One of them, I have eaten all of them. So I'm going to have to pop in pictures. And the other one are these raw Rev bars. I shared these in a what I eat in a day. This company just appeared in my PO box. They sent me these bars. And ever since then, I have been loving these. These are a nice clean bar, similar to the healthy eating all the time and go bar, but these have more protein. Anywhere from 10 to about 15 grams of protein per bar. Most of the bars are five points. There is one that is six smart points, but the majority of the bars are five points. They're raw, vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, and like I said, nice clean ingredients. They also range from about 170 to 190 calories per bar. I like this variety box that they sent me. This is what I'll be reordering. That way I get to try all of the different flavors in one box. I will link these down below as well with a discount code for you guys that Raw Red gave me. A lot of you have ordered these. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think. One of my new favorite bars. And my other favorite bar, like I mentioned, I've eaten them all because I literally am obsessed with them. I would have to say that hands down, they're my favorite new snack bar. I wouldn't call them a protein bar because they don't have a lot of protein, but what they do have is 65 milligrams of caffeine per bar, which is the same amount as a shot of espresso. And that is the Verb Energy Bars. These are delicious. They have clean ingredients. They are the perfect size for a snack, for a pick-me-up of energy midday. But what I have been loving these for is a pre-workout. Because they have the 65 milligrams of caffeine, it's a nice energy boost before I work out. They are also great post-workout as well because they do have that little bit of caffeine boost. Right now, they're offering 50% off their sample pack. You pick the flavors, and that way you can give Verb a try. And then when you love them as much as I do, you can reorder from their website on a regular basis. Again, I'll link them down below with that link for 50% off so you can take advantage of that special, but definitely pick these up. I've already ordered my third box of them. That's how much I've been loving them. These were a new find at the grocery store. I've heard about these. I've seen these on Instagram, but I hadn't tried these. And these are the Fruity Pebble Crisps. They are like a potato chip. So this is the size of them. They remind me of like a little miniature rice cake, but they're Fruity Pebble flavored. You can have 17 pieces for five smart points. 17 of those is a lot because they're big. So just cut down your serving size to cut down your points, but they are kind of a nice little sweet treat, especially if you are a cereal lover. They also have the cocoa pebbles and I saw the big honeycomb ones at my local grocery store. Speaking of cereal, I'm loving these Lucky Charm cereal bars. This is the only flavor I've been able to try. I really want to get my hands on the Reese's one. I just haven't been able to find them. These are four smart points and these are a great sweet treat. I definitely wouldn't use them as a snack or meal replacement because let's be honest, they don't have the best ingredients. They're zero protein. They're not going to keep you full and satisfied, but they will cure a sweet tooth. They are a good sized bar for only four smart points and 100 calories. Speaking of snacks, because I'm a snacky kind of girl, I love my one to two snacks every single day. These Utopia snacks are to die for. They come in three different flavors, espresso, obsesso, bananas for chocolate, and so money honey mustard. This entire bag is only four smart points, 130 calories, and it is a huge serving for the points and calories. My favorite is espresso obsesso. They have cocoa espresso cookie puffs, roasted almonds, and dark chocolate covered espresso beans. My second favorite is the bananas for chocolate. These have cocoa espresso cookie puffs, organic banana chips, and dark chocolate covered sunflower seeds. So delicious. And the third one, the So Money Honey Mustard. This is my least favorite, but if you are someone that enjoys a savory snack, you will love this. And this one has roasted almonds, honey mustard, jalapeno sticks, and Southwest Fava Crisps. But I love these. This has been my go-to snack. I've been having this in the morning with my kombucha, as you guys saw in my recent What I Eat in a Day video. These are great, and you can't beat four points for this huge packet. They have fairly good ingredients. They're filling, they're satisfying. It's a little bit of savory and a little bit of sweet all rolled into one. Again, linked down below with a discount code. And my last 
WW food favorite is a sauce. I, as you know, have been really getting into buffalo. And it's interesting because I'm not a spicy foods person, but I have been loving buffalo sauce. And this Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce with avocado oil is delicious. A few of you recommended this when I made a comment about not being able to find a clean or cleaner buffalo sauce at my local grocery store. You suggested this one and I will never go back. This beats every other buffalo sauce. Frank's, Sweet Baby Ray's, you name it, this beats it and it has nice clean ingredients. It's one point and 35 calories for a tablespoon. One tablespoon is enough to make a buffalo chicken sandwich. A tablespoon of this goes a very long way. And again, nice clean ingredients if you're a buffalo sauce lover. Before we jump into my beauty favorites, which is one of my favorite things to favorite, and I do have quite a few of those, I do have three home items that I wanna share with you. The first one are these bowls. I've been using these a lot in my videos. I've received a lot of questions on where I picked these up. A lot of you have actually purchased these bowls. This is a four pack of bowls from the company Zone Sum. I'll put that here on the screen for you. I just bought these off of Amazon. They're a nice high quality bowl. I love the design on the inside. They're the perfect size for soups, salads, oatmeal. We've been using these a lot. So I will link these down below. Again, I just picked them up off of Amazon and they are the company Zone Sum. I know this is an odd thing to favorite, but this lighter from Freedom Goods. Complete game changer when it comes to lighting candles. We have tons of candles around our house and those butane lighters, they go out so fast that I was so excited to find this one from Freedom Goods. Picked it up right off of Amazon. This is a USB rechargeable lighter. One charge gives you 500 lights. So I keep this in my office so that I can light candles when I'm in here working, but this would be great to take camping with you to leave in your camper, because like I said, you charge it one time and you can light 500 things with one charge on this lighter. I really like that it's rechargeable and I don't have to worry about it running out of fuel. I can keep this anywhere. It's slim, it's compact, and it even comes with its own carrying case that you can store the lighter and the charger. And my last home item is actually my brand new oil diffuser. I am so excited about this. I was gifted this from the company Basakuki. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I will put the name of the company here on the screen, but I love this oil diffuser. They had a ton of different styles. I went ahead and selected this one with the nice wood base and the white tower. I love that the diffuser portion is on the front of the diffuser. So that smell and that steam comes right out of the front. I love the wood base. I think it's beautiful. It's clean. It's modern. It's aesthetically pleasing. You'll also see that there is a button to turn on the light. You can also switch through the different lights. You can have it rotate through lights or pick a light of your choice. You can turn the mist on and set it on a timer. 60, 180, and 360 for the amount of time that the actual mister will miss. So in the event that you forget to turn it off before you leave the room, it will shut off its Itself, which I love that feature. And then there's two little arrows here that help you line it up so that the mist comes out correctly from the spout. I love this oil diffuser. It's extremely affordable. And not to mention the oil diffuser, they have a ton of different essential oils. Because we have dogs, there's certain oils that dogs shouldn't ingest. So I decided to order the fruit-based oils and I love this set so much. With spring here and summer on the way, these are the perfect fresh scents to just fill your house with. So this entire set of oils I also purchased. Loving the diffuser, I have it here in my office. I've been turning it on every time I'm in here working and it just fills my office with this beautiful fruit scent. It clears out my sinuses and I just love all the benefits that come with the oil diffusers. These ones are absolutely gorgeous. They do come in different colors, styles, and patterns, wood grain, non-wood grain. Definitely check them out. I'll link them down below for you guys so that you can get your hands on not only the oil diffusers but the oils and you cannot beat the price. And the last favorites category is beauty. I wanted to start with this little contraption. As I've mentioned before, I've really gotten into TikTok. I'm loving TikTok and I'm finding all of these trends and products and things off of TikTok. It's become a little bit of a problem, but I saw a video on using loofah sponges and how they're not hygienic. And that prompted me to 
picked this up based off of what I saw on TikTok. So this is a rubber body wash. And on the back, it has the holes for your fingers so that it actually stays on your hand as you scrub your body. It helps exfoliate with these little ridges and it's hygienic. So it won't start to grow mold or hold the scent like a loofah does. You should really be swapping your loofah out about every single week. This one, you can even throw in your dishwasher. It's hygienic. I hang it on a hook in my shower with the little hole. And this is what I've been using to wash my body and I'm loving it. I also want to share these hair clips with you guys. These are also from that company Freedom Goods, the same one that the lighter is from. These are a huge set of hair clips in different colors, big heavy duty hair clips. Now I have a lot of hair. It's long. It's hard for me to keep my hair up and these hold my hair up like a champ. I use these to curl my hair or to pull my hair out of my face. Sometimes I'll work out with these and it holds my hair in place. Super affordable, you get the whole box with several hair clips. Speaking of hair, another thing I saw off of TikTok that I had to buy is this pack of these soft fluffy headbands. I've been using these to put my makeup on. They're so cute. This little bow is at the top of your head and it holds your hair back so that you can put your makeup on. It came with several bands in these different cheetah patterns. You could also pick up solid colors. I just bought these off of Amazon. So affordable. It was about $10 for the entire pack and I saw one of these at Ulta for $15. So Amazon is a great deal for these and like I said they're cute and they work really well to hold your hair back to wash your face or do your makeup. Up. Another product I saw on TikTok was this NYX Marshmallow Primer, and I wavered on whether I wanted to pick it up, number one, because I have a lot of primers, and number two, because it's kind of expensive for a NYX product. It is $17 for this primer, but this is hands down my favorite primer. It goes on silky smooth. It does smell a little sweet like marshmallows. It works really well. It is tacky to the touch when you put it on, which is exactly what you want because that's what's going to hold your makeup in place. Worth every penny of $17. This will be my new go-to primer and it's a drugstore brand. And even though it's $17, it's still affordable for such a high quality primer. When I went to Ulta for the first time, I know, who am I? Who loves makeup? I had never been to in Ulta until a couple of weeks ago my mom and I went and I'd heard about this brand on TikTok and also in beauty tutorials on YouTube the ordinary they had this hyaluronic acid for under ten dollars this works so well it helps with redness it adds moisture to your skin and you can't beat it for under ten dollars I will forever be purchasing this I use it generally in the morning I will wash my face off from the night before and while it's still wet just damp a little bit I apply the hyaluronic acid and then I go in with my eye cream and my morning facial cream from beauty counter so I'm loving this and you can't beat the price hyaluronic acid can be extremely expensive and I noticed that all of the skincare products from the ordinary are rated very high and work very well. Next is this little contraption from the Freedom Goods brand. I really am liking a lot of the products that that brand has. This is a scalp massager. So you can use this on dry hair to massage your scalp, stimulates hair growth. But what I like to do with this is use this in the shower. So because I only wash my hair once a week, when it's hair washing day, it's definitely hair washing day. So what I'll do is I'll wash my hair quickly once, and then the second time I put shampoo in, I will massage it into my scalp with this massager. It really gets the shampoo deep into the roots of my hair, cleans my hair really well, and massages my scalp, which like I said, helps stimulate hair growth. This is less than $8, and it is such a great tool. I just keep it in my shower, and like I said, every time I wash my hair, I use this to essentially massage in that second dose of shampoo. And my last beauty favorite, last but not least, is this eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. This is the California Love Palette. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today. I love this. It is a very neutral palette, so it goes really well with most skin tones. It has some mattes, some shimmers. I love it. There's zero fallout with this eyeshadow palette. I actually purchased this on the ColourPop website, but I'll see if I can find it either on Amazon or Ulta or somewhere where there's free shipping and it's at an affordable price. I just bought it when ColourPop was having a sale and I love it. This is one of my main go-to neutral eye palettes. So those are all of my March favorites. Whew, we had a lot. And like I said, I could have had two or three times this amount because I've been purchasing a lot of new things, trying a lot of new things, loving a lot of new things. So I'm so excited to bring you guys April's favorites at the beginning of May. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And like always, if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. 
everything I shared with you today that can't be picked up at your local grocery store will be linked down in the description box. If I can find a website with free shipping or score a discount or find a discounted link for you, I'll put all of that down in the description box as well. You'll also find my Facebook group as well as my nutrition coaching. So head on over, join us on Facebook, check out the options on nutrition coaching as well. Have a wonderful day, you guys. I hope this gives you some inspiration to try some new WW foods, home products, as well as some new beauty products. And I'll see you all in my next video.